Hello and welcome to Tech With Heart. I am your host, Michelle Calloway. Tech With Heart, it's all about empowering entrepreneurs to embrace technologies, systems, and strategies that'll help small business owners stay competitive and relevant in a rapidly changing, very, very busy <laughs> digital business landscape. And so today's topic, we are going to be talking about search box optimization. You're going to be impressed with how this new AI technology is going to help you become one of the top recommended businesses for whatever it is that you want to be searched for. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to our very special guest. He is the president of First Search SE, SBO, not SEO. This is SBO, Search Box Optimization. His name is Dick Hill. So help me welcome to the Tech with Heart stage, Dick. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. I'm happy to meet <laughs> your uh, participants too. Yes, we are excited to hear what you have to share. I know this is a very new technology, but please share with us a little bit about what is search box optimization or SBO as you refer to it. Well, actually, uh... SBO came out of being uh, an advancement of SEO. And SEO is a search term that's used by people to try and get on the first page of Google and Bing and, and YouTube. And it takes thousands of dollars, a lot of time to do it. So we got an algorithm to uh, put people not only on the first page, but number one on the first page, and by filling the complete first page when they click on it. So all the information from a search comes up as them. So that <clears throat> search box optimization, um, just for clarity, you're talking about like the search field. Like if you go to google.com and you have this like search field, right? That right. is what you're referring to as the search right. box? Right, right. Cool, I just wanted to clarify that because, you know, yeah. otherwise it, get, it gets very confusing when you start talking about different terminologies. Yeah, I understand. So yeah, what, that's uh, what it is. Uh, when you, anybody does a search on Google or Bing, they know that they, they search a term or a business or how do I find a restaurant in Tampa, Florida? And whatever comes up is the first, 10 things that they see, but they do it and they register with us and, and have a keyword or phrase uh, registered, then they come up number one on that search and they also fill the complete page with all their information from the uh, website they have and from every uh, everything they have. So when you're searching on Google or Bing or even on YouTube, um, what happens is that the platform tries to automatically fulfill the word or the phrase that you're typing in it by presenting some of the top ranking keyword phrases that you might want to be searching for. That way you don't have to finish typing up your sentences. All of us have done it, right? Where we go to yeah. Google, we start searching for a word or, or two or how to do blah, blah, blah. And it automatically populates some of phrases. That's what you're talking about is search yeah, box optimization. Exactly, exactly. Getting if your business in, to be listed in that right, box. Right. Okay. So if so, I put Michelle, um, entrepreneur uh, advisor, uh, LA, boom, it finishes it all out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love it. So this is a very new concept, very new technology in the sense of being able to uh, work with an algorithm to get your business listed in the search box recommendation section, which is the optimization. So that is the what it is. Now, can you tell us how that search box optimization works? Well, to get listed, you have to uh, reserve certain keywords and 
key phrases for your business. And, and you do that by yourself because you, you know which terms you want. Um, then we enter into the search box optimization platform and uh, do all the background work to do it. And then you're listed. Uh, once you reserve it, nobody else can have it. Uh, if you are listed and protected in your area for your business 100% of the time and your competition can't get it. Well, that's really good to know, right? Like, so right. You're, if you are an early adopter with new technologies, you might want to seriously look into this, especially if you know 100% what keyword phrases people are actually searching for that you can dominate in. Um, get get in there, get in there now and uh, and talk with Dick. This is exciting stuff. So how, um, how, how will it drive, how will this technology, so when somebody sees your recommended, you know, business name and they click on it, um, is it like a pay-per-click kind of a thing? No, nope. it doesn't cost anything more at all. So you just pay That's for... It. You pay a monthly fee and uh, for each search word and... Uh, that's it, period. And it doesn't matter how many times it's being clicked on no, or searched. No. In fact, is uh, the results have been amazing. It's increased exposure and business by two to three hundred percent in the first two or three months. So yeah, it's, it can you really tell us good. tell us some success stories? We'd love to hear. Has I know this is very new. So tell us as many success stories as you can to help. Small business owners, uh, owners understand that this is something that could benefit them, especially like talk about maybe like a local strategy versus a regional strategy with your keywords. Okay, I've got a, a bunch of sheets here because uh, our case study number one that I wanted to talk about is hometown plumbing. And hometown plumbing uh, was looking for an increase in their exposure. So in Southern California, so they, did a search box uh, type of thing with their keywords. And they started out in uh, October, their traffic for Google analysis was uh, increased in February by uh, uh, 1,700 people. So that that's amazing. From 715 to uh, 1,350, excuse me, 88% increase. And that's just that they were they had about three or four keywords and they were real happy. Then uh, Junk Valet Incorporated, uh, they did junk removal, and uh, there were a lot of other people gaining the business, and so they expanded their business into uh, power washing, and then they did the same thing, and they increased their traffic. Uh, by uh, 94 percent, and increase their users from 98 uh, percent, from 200 users to 400 users in the first uh, three or four months. So uh, their bounce rate decreased too. So people get on there, they stay on there. So the bounce rate, let's talk about that for a second. So a lot of reasons why the bounce rates are high for, let's just say a pay-per-click ad is because um, the, the, the reason why they might be seeing that ad may be a little varied compared to a search box optimization keyword, keyword phrase or whatnot. And so when somebody clicks on your link when they're doing a search query versus doing a search query and then Google's, you know, feeds them all of this data, um, having that up there, it, it, it defines it a little bit tighter as to what it is that they might be looking for that you would be able to fulfill. And so therefore, when they click and they go to your website, there are what we call a little bit of a higher qualified lead because it's a better match of yes, what it's looking for. Yeah, the other searches they do might be a paper click too. And, uh, in order for them to qualify, then they have to click on it and then go to your site. So a lot of times they don't do that, even though they search for you or see you on the page, they might just click on it. And the bounce rate means they may have checked on it, but they didn't do anything about it. Right, yeah. Sometimes the bounce rate's only like a second or two, which means that, right. oh, that's not what they're looking for. So they're right. out. Yeah. Right, right. And 
these people are specific about what they want. So they know that when they get on what we promoted for this company, that's the right one to choose. Being able to do business online is crucial for survival, especially during times of social distancing. So how do you survive and thrive in the sea of digital noise? It's a lot like fishing. You need to know who your perfect customer is so that you can use the right kind of lure to attract them. We help you catch your perfect customer and retain them for future sales through highly converting websites, influencer mobile apps, getting you featured in the news and on TV. Hi, my name is Jerry Bowden, U.S. Army veteran and president of Revealio Software Solutions. Our goal is to help you rise above the competition, be seen as an expert authority in your industry, and embrace technology to stay competitive for long-term success. It's more affordable than you may think. So reach out to us at Revealio.com, and together we will make your business come alive. So when it comes to financing um, or, or the advertising budget of a, of a marketing uh, plan, this would be a better solution. Wouldn't you agree than a pay-per-click? Or a, oh, you know, absolutely. Yeah. And, um, and can you tell us the differences as far as like what the cost variables would be? You know? Well, from what I've experienced from my own businesses, I have several businesses, by the way. Um, SEO is costing or should cost. I don't do it, but it would cost between three and four thousand dollars a month, and it would take at least six months to be listed at all and to be on the first page. Maybe a uh, paper click, for, depending on the industry, is very expensive. It costs from uh, well, from a low one, you know, maybe hundred dollars a click. And it can go as high as five hundred dollars a click. With ours, uh, if you get ten clicks, that's uh, fifty thousand dollars you spent. Um, with ours, it's like a tenth or a twentieth of that, and and you you get better results. So I, that helps, <laughs> Yeah, it does help. You know, I mean, small business owners, a lot of them are trying to do as much as they can organically. All I right. know that when they're ready. Um, and this is another thing. Let's go back to that comment that you made earlier about um, when you choose a keyword phrase, none of your competitors can have that keyword phrase. Correct. So are you able to capitalize on something like if you're a plumber, um, best plumber in or, or, or is it just best plumber ever or just you know the most best and most affordable plumber or whatever and that kind of a vague broad term could be yours exclusively uh yeah you best plumber uh sacramento boom that's you best plumber california that's yours okay so what if you wanted to be a national nationally known brand we can do that if you want to be national we have a special program and we have to set that up with you uh obviously it's more intricate but we can do it and we have uh, we have walmart doing it we have best buy doing it and we have ace hardware doing it right now yes yeah, so um if you were a, a business that is looking for better national recognition then they could come to you and they're looking at probably somewhere in the thousands per month for those types right. of keywords, correct? But right. it's just a set rate. It doesn't right. fluctuate. Right. And then you can modify it. Like what if you tested it and you say, oh, this keyword's not getting any attention. You can make modifications. It's not a set and forget, correct? Right, but I advise you to go to Google search and they'll give you the analytics for your search terms, and you'll know which ones to use. Well, you, you can do it on your own very easily. You know, that brings up another good point. I just mentioned a lot of small business owners are trying to do organic marketing as much as possible because they're just getting going. Maybe they don't have a ton of money to put into advertising and or marketing. But one of the marketing strategies you could do that's organic is go to Google search and type in certain keywords that you are that relate to your business, or your solutions, or your products, and use those lists, those keywords and keyword phrases, and enter them into your content on your website. So that's 
gonna help, but it's right. not gonna get you. And besides <laughs> that, the analytics on Google will tell you the percentage, the people, everything about it. So you can pick the best one. Exactly. Yeah, I'm just giving some tips here because I know a lot of small business owners right. are tuning in to learn more about unique ways that AI can help separate them from the rest, right? But right. if it's not in their budget to spend thousands, even for the super cool and far more affordable technology than, say, Google Ads, pay-per-click ads, um, this is still a really good value add for them to know about right. but going to Google search and doing your homework there and getting your... There, there are billions of searches done every day on Google. And now Bing is doing the same thing. In fact, is I have Bing on my phone for searches. And uh, we just added YouTube last month. And uh, YouTube has a million videos every day that are searched. So if you do a YouTube uh, campaign with us and do the search terms, we'll even do a video for you free to put on there. And then you can expand from there. That's really good to know, too, because a lot of small business owners are underutilizing video for sure. Right. Right. Well, we'll, do <laughs> but, it. we'll do it. And uh, then you'll see yourself up uh, immediately because we'll do the video for you. And YouTube is the second largest search engine, um, I believe. Right. Yeah, right. Did TikTok yeah. take over. <laughs> TikTok right. is YouTube, but. Yes, video content. I'm I'm a big advocate for video content. I think all small business owners should be sharing a bit of their story, a bit of their um, why, a bit of their purpose and the solutions that they're offering and have a couple of different types of videos on their website that help people understand who they are and what they're doing. Right. So I use videos a lot. I mean, yes. every uh, email I send out, I try and include uh, uh, videos. Uh, we've got them on our website. We've got them. Uh, I've got several products that I do the same way. So it's fantastic. Yes, because in a, di a digital era, yeah. when people aren't able to be um, able to meet face to face as much, it's great to be able to do that brief, you know, like warm or introduction to yourself by shooting a video and just right. sending it in an email. That's a very good uh, strategy. And I, again, I highly recommend anything you can do with video to promote your business, but now putting AI and this um, algorithm that you guys are obviously able to offer with this search box optimization, even on YouTube, it's just brilliant. Well, yeah, nobody else has it. In fact, nobody we, we uh, tracked it for probably six months or more before we even released it to yeah. make sure it was effective. And Absolutely. The, the results were amazing and the customers were they take two or three keywords and they come back and take 10 more. Um, Walmart, for example, for all their stores are doing 10 keywords per store. And that's another reason that if you're doing any competition with Walmart, you need to get a hold of us because uh, if we get to you before Walmart does with this, you will be ahead of Walmart. Good point. Again, I love that the fact that it's uh it cuts out the competition if you have your keywords secured. That's you're, no right. longer, you're no longer in a bidding war. You're now right. locked in. So smart. Not a bid. They, they find you. And I know from my own searches that if I find something that I like, I don't go searching anymore. I'm through. I'm done. I'm lazy. <laughs> and a lot of people are they um they really do appreciate those search box optimization the recommendations and so this is absolutely brilliant that's why well, I they, also, they also think that google and bing and youtube are recommending you because when they put in a certain thing it automatically fulfills the rest of it but i was complete so they think oh google likes these people yeah it's super smart <laughs> Dick, I'm so glad you came on. So when people are interested in, um, you know, learning more about like what it might look like for their business to incorporate this super smart search box optimization strategy, where can they go to reach out to you? Well, they can go to the website if they want to, but they can uh, get me directly at we, W-E dash, the initial R, L-E-D, well, excuse me, we dash, R, the initial R dash 
L-E-D at hotmail.com or they can go to uh, firstsearch-sbo.com. Thank you for that. So um, what is a thought or a phrase that you would love to leave impressed upon those that are listening and tuning in right now as far as whether this is something possible for their business today? In order to thrive and survive in this business community today, you need to use SBO. Okay. Thank you so much for that. And I look forward to hearing amazing stories coming from those that have opted in to work with this amazing and smart technology. So AI is here to stay. It's only going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. So it's time to embrace it and leverage it rather than be afraid. So let's just always focus on how we can use technology to enhance our connections between people because humans do business with humans, right? So let's just right. keep it going and uh, but just work smarter, not harder and not pretend to be something that we're not just use AI to help get you in front of the people who really need what you're looking what they're because you provide them with what they're looking for. So if you're a business expert and you have a valuable insights like Dick did, and he came on to the Tech With Heart show, we invite you to come on, reach out to us, let us know what you'd like to share. Um, we, you can go to techwithheartnetwork.com and fill out a speaker form. And we would love to see if you're a good fit for our entrepreneurial audience. You, this is a community of heart-centered, innovative, forward-thinking small business owners who are really looking to grow their business by embracing technology systems and strategies, but you don't need to be tech savvy to really get a lot of value out of this community. No questions or dumb questions, you know what I'm saying? So we really here are embracing everybody and helping you, the small business owner, believe that yes, you can do this. Trust us, you can. You just need a little bit of guidance and a whole lot of trust. Let us be a warm place for you to grow and a secure place for you to feel embraced as you start embarking upon in embracing new technologies like AI. So go to techwithheartnetwork.com and join us and share the word. Let's grow together. Here's to your success. Your story needs to be seen and heard, and your brand needs to be revealed. Revealio elevates purpose-driven businesses into the spotlight through video storytelling, augmented reality video marketing, and professional website design. Get discovered online or in the news. Be featured in national magazines or host your own TV, podcast, or live radio show. Together, we make your brand come alive. All it takes is Revealio. Visit Revealio.com to get started today. Minority and service-disabled veteran-owned.